Hi, I'm Wendy with H2O Bungalow. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a school of fish mural on a wall. You can download my free template, instructions, and supply list at h2obungalow.com. Search School of Fish. There's a link to my post in this video too. You'll need a quarter inch chipboard, a jigsaw or scroll saw, fish template and printer, repositional spray glue, and of course your safety gear for this project. Print and arrange the fish templates on a two foot by four foot chipboard. My template has three sizes of fish. You'll fit more fish onto your board by cutting the excess paper off the edges of the smaller fish. I used a paper trimmer to do this step. Next, you'll mark the edges of the pages of the fish and cut them into smaller pieces to work with using a jigsaw. Use repositionable spray adhesive to attach the fish to the board. Be sure to wipe any excess sawdust off before spraying the glue. Again, you can find the products I used and additional tips on my website. Use a jigsaw or a scroll saw to cut out the fish. So tips for cutting out the fish. Good lighting makes it much easier to see. Be consistent in how you cut the fish out. Cut just on the outside of the fish template and do this the same for every fish. A scroll saw is easier to use if you have one. I list several good choices for small and hobby sized saws in my post. Change your scroll saw blade often. They get dull quickly. I went through about three blades on this project. I used seven TPI, that's tooth per inch blades, which cut fast and gave a clean cut on the chipboard. Be sure to put the blade in with the teeth facing down. If you're using a jigsaw, clamp the wood to a stable surface to keep your fingers away from the blade while you're cutting. Take the paper off the fish before painting them. The paper templates come off easy by peeling them back slowly and pulling them at an angle like I'm demonstrating. Now you're ready to start painting. You'll need a home right quick finish paint sprayer, a home right medium paint shelter, a few colors of craft paint, double-sided tape, drop cloths, and of course your safety gear. I used my medium-sized home right paint shelter to protect my porch from overspray. I placed a workbench inside with a turntable on top. Foam core boards hold the fish and still spin freely for the paint sprayer. I'm using the new quick finish paint sprayer by home right for this project. It's great for smaller jobs. I love the design and how easy it is to connect the spray assembly to the motor. It works just like its larger version, the Super Finish Max, with a paint flow adjustment, a trigger to start painting, and an easy way to adjust the horizontal or vertical or even circular spray pattern. Mix paint with water as needed to get a pancake batter consistency. About 12 ounces of diluted paint for each color. I used a primer, then dark blue, and last I added the teal iridescent paint on the top. I always test the paint flow and direction of the spray before starting a new project. Arrange the fish with enough space so each can easily be sprayed. Paint the fish by spinning the turntable to get an even coverage on the sides and the tops. Run clear water through the quick finish between paint colors to quickly clean it. Your next spray pattern test will clean the remaining water out. Because I wanted the iridescent paint to have even more depth, I added a base coat of dark blue before applying the semi-opaque iridescent teal top coat. Apply the paint in long sweeping motions from one side to the other before spinning the fish to paint the other side. 
Allow the paint to dry between coats. Move the fish when they are dry to the touch so they don't stick to the cardboard. Wash the quick finish with soap and water and let dry before putting it away. I made a mock-up of my wall to get the basic shape of the school of fish. I taped it to the wall as a reference and cut out paper fish in the same sizes as what I was using and tacked them to the wall following the pattern of the mock-up. I moved them around to form a shape that I liked on the wall. My fish swim around the concrete sand dollars, the towel rack, and up to and over the door to create a sense of motion. Now attach the painted fish to the wall using one inch nano tape, which is like a double sided tape. I cut one half inch strips in half and then half again. Attach the tape like this and pull off the clear backing and press onto the wall. If you start at the bottom of the school of fish and work your way across the wall before starting on the next layer on top, it's easier to copy the pattern and then make adjustments as needed. You can find more tips on how to create a good school of fish shape in my post on h2obungalow.com. If you like my project, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, you can download the free fish templates on my website, and while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to that too. Thank you so much for watching today, and we'll see you next time with the next creative DIY project from H2O Bungalow.